Si Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. Ay mataimtim na nanunumpa. Ay taimtim na nanunumpa. Kasi nahuan ako ng Diyos. Congratulations, Mr. President. Maraming salamat. The only son of the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos Sr. and beauty queen Imelda Marcos, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has become the country's first president to win a majority in decades after securing more than 31 million votes. You picked me to be your servant, to enable changes to benefit all. I fully understand the gravity of the responsibility that you've put on my shoulders. I do not take it lightly. But I am ready for the task. In his first speech as president, Marcos, also known by his nickname Bongbong, promised to better control the pandemic and address the struggling economy and food security. His supporters expect him to lead them to a more comfortable life as prices increase amid a coronavirus pandemic that wiped out the country's economic gain. I hope corruption will be removed or lessened. I hope he will fulfill his promises, but I think he will keep his promises because his father did it. Marcos ran on a campaign of national unity, inviting voters to forget the atrocities of his father's dictatorial regime while propagating a collective nostalgia for the supposed golden era of the country. I am here not to talk about the past. I am here to tell you about our future. A future of sufficiency, even plenty, of readily available ways and means to get done what needs doing, by you, by me. We do not look back, but ahead. Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. becomes President of the Philippines today with a strong and clear mandate from the Filipino people and an overwhelming power handed to him by outgoing President Rodrigo Duterte. But human rights activists say they will not allow the second Marcos presidency to abuse its powers. Defend! Defend Southern Tagalog! Not far from the inauguration venue, hundreds of activists staged a protest to reject the Marcos Duterte alliance. Sara Duterte, daughter of outgoing President Duterte, won the vice presidency and will serve alongside Marcos. I don't think that Marcos is the legitimate president of the Philippines. Uh, the last election has been modeled with fraud, with electoral fraud. There have been accounts of cheating, of widespread corruption, and of uh, widespread uh, voter disenfranchisement. The Commission on Elections has denied there was cheating during the election, despite reports of irregularities from international observers. Results were accepted by most presidential contenders. Activists say they fear the Marcos presidency will be as brutal as his father's, so they are preparing for the worst. In the next six years, we plan on continuing to fight, continuing to resist all attacks against the people, and hopefully, no, uh, a lot more Filipinos, a lot more of our fellow countrymen would be joining our fight and our struggle. In the meantime, Filipinos will wait and see whether history repeats itself. Anthony Esguera, for VOA News, Manila, Philippines.